What is up, guys? Your producer Nozzo here, RPD here, and I'm giving you guys an Until Dawn White Guy review. Um, I played this game last week. I played. I got it on Thursday, and I beat it on Friday. So I did play a lot of it. I got like uh, I got some. I got a lot of hours on it. I'll go ahead and put that in the end. But I just want to let you guys know in advance that this review might be a little bit longer than my regular stuff, my regular things that I do. So I just want to let you guys know in advance. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, and hopefully you guys will, you know. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Story. Until Dawn is a very unique story mode video game. It is story driven and it is very unique. Uh, think of a heavy rain, but involving eight teenagers and you're going around this whole uh, lodge uh, introducing and trying to figure out a crime that's kind of was committed a year ago. And these eight teenagers are Matt, Emily, Sam, Josh, Chris, Ashley, Mike, and Jessica. Those are the eight characters that you play throughout the whole game. Those game, the, those characters are the straight legit character uh, characters you play throughout the whole game. Like I said, this game is very unique, and this game will keep you on your toes throughout the whole story. The, the story about a year ago, there was two Swiss sisters in there, the twin sisters of Josh. Those two sisters got were killed, and you go back because Josh uh, invited uh, seven of them to go back and go have a good time, like they did, like his sisters would have, like enjoyed for them to go back. So basically, it's a crime. To, to basically find out because there's a serial killer on the loose on the lodge so like you're picking up clues you're running around you're trying to find out who the killer is and not only that but there's other type of like evil within that you can't really figure out so this game is unique and like I, when I say it's unique I it's just it's because everything you do in this game will come back it, it will fuck you up in the ass think of the walking dead and heavy rain those are exactly the games but this is better it is ten times better than those games it is the story is very it'll keep you on your toes and yes it is creepy it, it, it is not scary like PT or outlast or amnesia but this game will you know make you jump a few times there's a times where I threw my controller in here cuz I didn't expect it there be on the lookouts for pop-ups this game has pop-ups if you fucking hate people just jumping on you or you're gonna hate this game uh, trust me that uh, be on the lookouts for those this game it is it is creepy but it's not scary that's the best way to put it. I did not get scared once in this game but I did get a little bit creeped out like oh my god what the hell and uh, there is a lot of good moments in this game that will keep me you know it'll be a good memory so let's hurry up and get to the gameplay gameplay like I mentioned before, everything you do in this game will come back and hit you in the ass. That is true. But what's different between this game and Heavy Rain and the gameplay wise is that everything you do in this game from the start you put the video game in your system will change the ending or however you start everything by the end of the game. Yeah, it's a quit. This gameplay has QTEs, so and you're just kind of going around finding clues, and that's about like that's basically the whole gameplay. But your characters. Well, your characters in this game are based off the choices you make. So your one of your characters could literally die off the first 30 minutes you play the game. Like that's how crazy this game is. I, but in my lucky in my behalf, I was able to make all my characters but one survive. I fucked up once because I wasn't paying attention. I think I was texting when I was playing. But that that's how crazy this game is. It be, there's no like you could pause the game, but you're so like you're so like into the game sometimes and that you don't want to pause it. So like let's say if you look at your phone or you look down, that you just messed up. It's like I said, there, there's no like like loading screens there's no throughout the whole game there's no loading screens there's nothing like oh there's a loading screen I could hurry up and look on my phone real quick no there, this game will have you on your toes that's what I'm trying to say that you will have no idea like you will think like oh it's nothing's gonna happen right here next thing you know you missed the QTE and your guy's head just got chopped off and you had no idea what happened this game will keep you on your toes this game will make you think twice and this and it will make you regret decisions there's some decisions where I was thinking oh, I should have never done that then it's crazy because there's no going back you, there's no saves you can't just go back to a previous save once you make that decision that's done you can't do anything about it so this game is like I said is great on keeping you on your toes it's just QTEs running around uh, making sure you live and making harsh decisions on the go like this game will like right right here you just gotta you gotta make a decision quick quick you just gotta make a decision quick if you don't make a decision quick something bad can happen you never know so like it'll make you on your toes make you think this game like uh, the gameplay is unique like I said and it's just made me there's you you get in so in contact with the characters in this game like you, there's some characters like you're like oh I fucking hate 
hate you. And then there's other characters like, I hope she doesn't die. Like, you get so in feel with the characters in this game. And they have a few other things that are new. That's to, there's one thing called the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is like in real life, you, something, like I said, same things will come back and haunt you. Like, you say you make one decision, and then, like, later on you make a decision. That thing will be the butterfly effect comparing, like, adding on to that decision. So, let's say, for example, I pick up water later, and then I drop the water, and it hit the floor. Because the butterfly effect, and it broke, like, it hit the floor and broken glass from a somebody could come and step on the glass it's the butterfly effect because you did something and fucked everything up you could fi like it's something and you could fix it too like instead of me like same scenario i can like pick up my water and just push it down like it's so crazy and there is over a thousand different endings in this game a thousand that is impressive there's a thousand different endings and everything you do in this game will come up with your own unique ending so it is it is in for a treat and there's uh there's about to be it it's just basically running around uh, finding clues trying to make sure everything survives and yeah it's not it's I'll, I'll hold on i'll get to that so yeah guys that's about it for the gameplay that's what i hated now there isn't a whole whole lot that i hate in this game this game was great there's no doubt about it but there is a few just a little bit of things that did piss me off and get on my nerves in this game okay one, the game is short. It is about, I beat it within six hours. I got it Thursday. I played four hours straight on it. Next day on Friday, I, ca I came home and I played another two hours and I beat it. It's it's very short. Then I could, I could see how there isn't a lot of play value in this game because this whole game takes place in one night and this whole game takes place that whole night in a very in a lodge it takes place from like it's in a whole little area so there's not a whole lot of play like a play area is what i'm trying to say there's not all the places you could go there is a lot like it's a lot of very unique and the graphics are nice don't get me wrong but there it's just this game if it was worked on a little bit longer this could have been a easily a 12 13 14 hour game i feel like they maybe i feel like they maybe brought it back just a tad just to bring it you know maybe for the graphics wise just to bring it back but it is, it, don't get me wrong, that is good, but it's just, it would have been a lot better if there was more value, and in my opinion, there isn't really any replay value in this game. Yeah, there's different types of endings and different, I, I can see why that's why they probably did that, was to make sure that you guys could go back and play the six hours again and get different endings, but who the fuck wants to sit there and get a thousand different endings, let's be real. Nobody has that not much time in their life to sit there and get a thousand different endings, you know? Heavy rain, what makes, what makes it heavy rain in this game different is that heavy rain, there's about ten uh eight different endings but it's cool about that in this game is that in heavy rain you could actually play all those endings in this game no one's gonna sit there and go a thousand endings especially for a game like this but after a while it gets boring so a little bit more replay value i mean a little bit more value would have been better and there, there isn't really any replay value in this game another thing that i didn't hate that i didn't like is that throughout the whole game if you're playing as a character and you get to actually move that character around there you all you do is fast walk there is no sprinting in this game there should have been sections where you should have been sprinting i mean there's there's one section where i think i'm being fucking chased by something and then i was fast walking what kind of crap is that i want to be sprinting and most of the qtes though you are your character is sprinting but in some sections i would like to be sprinting instead of me just finding clues with that character i would like you know i would like to keep going I, i'm more of a fast pace person so and then other than that uh i think the last one is that um it it, it were there's a bit times where uh i don't know it just felt like the the characters they felt kind of baggy the they, the the graphics don't get the not the graphics i'm not talking about the i'm talking about the acting in this game they they used actual people and actual actors to make the characters look realistic which is why the graphics are so damn beautiful and the graphics are nice which because those are real characters real people but i feel like some of the acting in this game was a bit bit horrible there are some times where the there should have like there are some characters like ashley for example she wasn't she wasn't as good as a character as jessica or sam or emily like she was such a baggy and horrible character like nobody really like she was the worst like the least character you don't play her as much but you don't really get to light and know her and she's so she's so much of like a loser and she's just so down and nobody i guess that maybe be her character but it would have been nice for her to like i don't know step up and be a better character and then some of the acting like i said was horrible but some of, other than other than that, um, this game looks beautiful. This game is absolutely amazing. Final verdict. Biggest question right now: Should this game be bought? And should, would I recommend this game? Um, right now, I'd say no. This game is absolutely amazing. Don't no, get me wrong. Uh, this game is definitely a competitor for Game of the Year for multiple awards, and it had me on my toes multiple times. 
But I'm not downing this game over the what I hated spot or what things I didn't like. No. I'm downing this game because of the price value. I'm downing this game because of the content wise. Um, and the play value. This game is currently $60 and it is not worth $60. In my opinion, this game is not worth that much money. Especially if you're only going to play it for 6 hours. It, it's just it's a game that is it's good to get you just out there and if you it's think of it as a scary movie that is like seven six hours long okay if you I get if you find all the collectibles and find anything this game could be easily eight nine hours but if you just kind of play it and you want to just get an ending and you get to the ending it's like six hours long so I think of it as a long scary movie as this game um, it is great I'm not gonna lie the graphics are intense the gameplay wise and it, it will keep you on your toes and it's creepy it's got everything a good gamer would like to see yes but it's just not a game I can't recommend at sixty dollars so this is what I'm gonna say I say buy it if the price goes down to forty dollars not even four dollars I say buy it if the price goes down to thirty dollars or less or it is currently at this moment at Redbox for multiple Red Spider Redbox's stores so I say go Pick it up at Redbox, beat it once, and then return it. Because that's what I did. I got it at Redbox, I'm not going to lie. I picked it up at Redbox. I got it. And I, I, I wasn't really intending to buy it. I was thinking about buying it. But then after I uh, played it and I beat it once, and you think, that's about it. There's nothing really else to do. You could replay episodes, but after the, who wants the fuck wants to play replay episodes, you know? You, you could literally look up all the... You could, after a while, you could, I'm pretty sure you could find all the endings on YouTube. So I say... I recommend either waiting for the price to drop if you want to own this game to $30 or less or pick it up at Redbox where you can rent it for a day and beat it in a day and you can enjoy the time. So that's all I'm going to recommend. Uh, that's that's why I say. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, just a heads up, um, I'm uh, currently... Dude, I, I know I've uploaded on my vlogging channel in a while. I know I get it. Uh, it's just because nothing interesting happens in my life that I don't think ever, that everybody wants to see. So I'm trying to, and also my com camera is a piece of shit and it's broken. So I'm trying to fix that. But once I do, I'll go ahead and get that back up. But anyways, um, I do have a Facebook up. If you guys want to add me on Facebook, I still got a kick and I still got a so snapchat i might put everything in the description in this video but actually i'll just wait for you guys to tell me let me know if you guys want to facebook tw uh, i could i have twitter let me know if you guys want me to start uh want me to put a page up for my channel and you guys want to start following it you know i will eventually after i get big i know me and Crywis have thought about making merchandise so once we get to a thousand maybe two thousand subscribers which i know will happen eventually we'll go ahead and put videos up i'm mean, not videos duh we'll go ahead and put up uh We'll make our own t-shirts that I know I'm thinking about making and I got sweaters ordered. So let me know if you guys think. I'll, I'll make sure it's cheap. I'm not going to like $50 for a fucking t-shirt. you shitting me? That I'm a, I'll make it sure it's like, I don't know, like $10, $15 for a sweater. You know, that's a, I'll be a bit cheap about it. You know, I'm a Jew bastard. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. You guys already know. I got to go.